welcome in. You're listening to the daily version of the Corlin Economics Report. I am uh, Corlin. Appreciate you joining me. It is Monday, the 19th of September. This program is being produced exclusively for my friends at Kitco. Have an interesting day in the markets today. Uh, everybody is obviously scared to death about what's going to happen. Greece. I personally am scared to death. Not what's going to happen with Greece, but what's going to happen every place. But what can I say? As we are recording, and I got Trader Raj with me right now. The gold is down 37.70 an ounce. Silver is down $1.44 an ounce. Dow Jones Industrial Average is down almost 200 points, 189.44. The NASDAQ is down 29.36. The only two green arrows on my screen are, number one, the U.S. dollar up 57 on the index to 77.11. Then, of course, the Nikkei is up. What I would have to say about the U.S. dollar is I think that people are viewing, as I mentioned uh, in my editorial with Roger over the weekend, I think that people are viewing the U.S. dollar as being the uh, the best of the worst. I'm not sure exactly what is going on vis-a-vis why the gold is down as sharply as it is, but uh, the, you know, obviously the simple explanation is, well, the U.S. dollar is much stronger today. Mr. Wiegand, what do you think, buddy? Well, gold was overbought. You know, when it went to $1,923, if you look at the daily, weekly, and monthly chart on gold cash, especially the monthly, I mean, it's just going straight up like a rocket. When you see that on a chart, and you can see that by going back historically in many markets, uh, it's got to stop because it's going to stall and turn around and correct. And if you use tech analysis, you can get a pretty good handle on how far it's going to go. We just was reading one analyst who's pretty good, and he said based on what he can see right now, it could go as low as 1600 on the numbers. I'm not that negative. I think that right now we're seeing on my December futures, we're holding at 1775 looks like it's pretty good so far. Does that mean it could sell more? Sure, it can go a little more. We could go down to 1700 But even at that, if you take your charts daily, weekly, monthly, and draw standard trend lines on them, everything is fine. We're in the uh, trend. There's nothing to be concerned about. Are we going to have a correction? Yeah, we're in it right now. 40 bucks and down in one day seems like a lot of money, but it's not really because the trading ranges are so, are so wide. And if, as we've mentioned before, they're going to go wider and wider. No, they go just as long going up and just as long going down frequently. But when they come down, they come down faster. And that's what frightens people. But that's just part of trading, and that's the way it lines up. Silver today, $39.30. It's off 3.8 percent, but we're pretty close to 40 bucks. I think that's pretty good. Well, what I would have to say is, if you if you look at the uh, the downward movement in the price of gold for today, you know we're talking a two percent move. Well, a two percent move, really, in my mind, I have to agree with you, Roger. I don't think it means very much. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Roger, always a pleasure to get your insights into this thing. We're going to be back with you tomorrow. 